All right. Ladies and gentlemen, back to the Rigs of Rods Revival Tour for the V4s. I'm Trin Ray along here with Tyler Rias. And Tyler, we sure do have a legendary lineup tonight. That's right. We have a star-studded lineup here in Hot Lana. Some of the baddest names in motorsports are going to take on each other in the V4 Revival Tour. And Trenton, this is going to be absolutely mind-blowing tonight. Absolutely. We got 12 to 11 trucks competing tonight in some of the most insane racing wheelies freestyle that anybody's seen all season. <laughs> What's the manager doing? <laughs> oh, God. All right. First up for wheelies tonight, we have Canyon in Stone Crusher. He's good to go for wheelies. It is the backside of the racing lanes. Two hits. So, yeah. And as you heard right there, Sean Ryan calling out the Blue Thunder guy in Stone Crusher, Tyler. What do you know about this guy? You know, I, I don't know too much about this driver, you know. And, you know, the Willys competition here on the backside of the uh, the racing lanes is going to be a little challenging. Some of the uh, – if they're cut right, you're going to get a nice sky Willie. Of course, it's up to the judges, you know. Of course, y you got two attempts. So if you absolutely don't get the one you want on the first one, you're definitely going to try to go for the second one. And as long as you get that truck semi-vertical, these fans are going to go on, uh, off the hook here. Oh, wow. Absolutely. You know, already they're getting a decent one, trying to ride it out, getting a nice ride. Out of the oh. Really, oh. Not bad. Almost oh, hitting Avenger there. But Stone Crusher, so far, that was a gnarly hit. And going for the second one here off the yellow uh, race lane. Let's see if he can get another one, maybe walk it a little farther there. You know, whenever they're looking at these wheelie competitions, they're looking at height, verticalness, and they're looking to, for them to ride out those wheelies afterwards. Yeah, not only are they looking all for that, Trenton, but they're also looking for momentum. You know, uh, we want to see good momentum. And right here, Stone Crusher is absolutely vertical, walking it all the way down and suddenly get down on bumping into Snakebite and the uh, Bigfoot camp there. But, wow, not a bad showing here as the scores are coming in. So it's out of 10 for four judges. Right. First judge, I'm going to show a seven. Looking at the second judge, another seven. Third judge says seven. Waiting on the fourth judge here for the wheelie competition. For Stone Wait, Crusher. who's the fourth judge? Brian. Brian. No, oh, okay. Where's he? I think he's dead. We're going to give him another seven. Oh, okay. yeah. Just give him another seven. So, so a score of a 28 for Stone Crusher. <laughs> Not a, a bad run. start. Next up is going to be uh, Snake Bite. Snake Bit. Next. All right, Trenton, the next uh, truck up here, we have Marcelo in the snake bite machine. Of course, coming out of the Bigfoot camp, these trucks are always immaculate, perfectly conditioned. They're really good race trucks. Um, tell me a little bit more about the Bigfoot camp. Oh. It's, it's an escape, a snake, whatever. Snake Fuck, it does a nice oh. wheelie there. Not bad for Absolutely. Marcelo. As you know, like the, the Bigfoot camp are a very, very old camp. They still use some of the trucks they've used as back it as long as the 90s to this day. And I think this is one of their older equipment. Oh, 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 no. No. Up oh. and over, giving her too much throttle, a little freedom stuck under the pedal there, and tosses him backwards. Not a bad showing. The fans are on their feet, though. Absolutely. What a showing. Hopefully they'll be able to get back here for the racing competition later. Wow. The first judge coming out right now is going to be showing a six. So the second judge will also be having a six waiting on the other two? Uh, five. So we've got a five. And a five. A and another five. So that's going to be... Or six. No, it's six. My bad. My it's bad. going to be a score of a 23 for Snake Bite. Three sixes and a five. That's a 23. Yeah, he's right. Should, should be. The next driver out coming out right now is T Ray, Mr. Trenton Ray, driving the beautiful Maximum Destruction. Of course, coming out of the Paxton, Illinois camp, the the team men's camp, they always have outstanding tr performing trucks. Front engine is going to give him a little bit of a, a little bit more of a challenge to get that truck vertical, but without a doubt, he's got the horsepower to do it here. So let's see what T Ray has to, in Max D. Well, and with the skill that we know that Trenton has, it's going to be just as good as what we're seeing. Oh, hang on. Gets it up on one wheel, settles it down before he hits the wall. Not bad at all. Of course, T-Ray, a veteran when it comes uh, to driving trucks here. So this is a real special showing here. 
Let's see what he has on his second hit off the red back of the side. Oh, hang yeah. on. Straight up and down. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, voice crack. Settles it down. Wow. What a performance for Max D. That's... Judge is coming in right now. The first judge shows an eight. I'm going to show a seven. A seven. Uh, and another seven. Seven. And we're waiting on one more. It was a seven. Brian seven. Seven. Okay, so the score of a 29 for Max D. Wow. Hey, got Take Bam. Next up here we got Tyler Rias, a veteran in the Western Renegade. This guy, I've known him for quite a while now. He's known to go big, even when the stakes aren't that high. So it's going to be exciting to see what he can do here in Wheeling. <laughs> oh, oh. Can he save it? Oh, no. All right, all right. Tough break. I'm Getting a little to... excited there on the throttle. I'm going to have to give that a three. Able to get it back on all fours. That's a three for me. Another three. Good at a four. <laughs> Grab the cradle. So that's going to be a 13. Hurt. Tough break. Damn. And up next we got Mr. Zach in the Avenger. Mr. Drop Silver. He is a veteran of this, Tyler, so he knows what he what has to do in order to oh. take the bed and really Wow. That is picture perfect, T Ray. He absolutely crushed that one. He got it vertical, stepped on the throttle, picked up the front end, hit the brakes, landed perfectly right on the rear end. That was a nice sky wheelie. He also is showing that world finals qualifying flag. And oh Oh, oh <laughs> hang so on in, in his parking spot. That's awesome. Wow. First judge coming out for Avenger is going to show an 8. I'll give an 8 as well. That's going to be a 7 for me. And another 7 from Bryant. So that is a score of a 30. That takes, takes the lead. lead. Wow. And up next, here comes Chase in the Wolverine. A fan favorite. A fan favorite to these wonderful V4 Revival fans. Not really, don't really know much about him, Tyler, but I've heard he's pretty good at what he does, and there he goes, showing off his skill. Not bad right there for the first attempt off the backside of the red racing lane, of course, the Wolverine truck, a very famous truck on other tours, especially in the Monster Jam world. It's a former world champion truck, but Chase is taking the reins, and he's actually doing not a bad job here. He's going for the yellow stack, second hit. Hopefully, he can get a little bit more vertical and really try to take the lead here. Oh, wow. Just as you oh say my. that, there oh you go. Wow. Ride it out. Wow. Don't even wow. touch the wall. The first judge coming in showing a nine. Nine. That's an eight for me. And another eight. Taking so. the lead with a 34. Holy cow, Chase. Jesus. And up next, here comes Tim the Toolman Taylor in the El Toro Loco. He's blowing out the smoke there. T Ray getting the fans on their feet. El Toro Loco, a fan favorite wherever he goes. And Tim absolutely knows how to throw it down. Absolutely. You know, here he goes. Oh. Oh, oh no. not getting what he wanted there. Oh. You didn't go over the ramp, so it doesn't. Oh, never mind. My bad. <laughs> All right, take two. <laughs> yeah. um, next, here comes the Tim, the tool man Taylor coming out here in El Toro Loco. Tyler, can you tell us a little bit about this guy? You know, Tim, he is a he's a racer and a freestyler. He's an all-around good driver. Of course, but in the El Toro Loco. Hang on. Oh, it's up. Will he save it? He got lucky. Wow. Wow. A little bit of luck and a little bit of skill went into that one for El Toro Loco. He was past vertical, stuck it on the rear of the chassis, popped into reverse, settled it down. That is a nice hit right there. That's going to be hard to hit. Beat. Absolutely, you know, and it's going to come down to his second hit here. So if he can do something spectacular again, I'm sure he's going to take the lead. Ooh. Hang on. Hang on, El Toro Loco. Crawls it up. Wow, Tim. Settles it down over some crushed cars. A little freestyle action from El Toro Loco. Perfect willy hit. First judge coming out showing a nine. 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 And another nine, so... That takes the lead with a 36 by two points. Yeah, yeah, no. 
Next up is Brian <laughs> and Prowler. <sighs> oh, God. As he's coming out for his wheelies, it. Bryant Stegel in Prowler. Tyler, do you know anything about this guy? Yeah, Bryant, yes, I've seen him drive before. He is absolutely technical at its best. I mean, Bryant knows exactly what his machine's capable of. Of course, driving an awesome truck, one of the first 3D bodies ever to be designed on a <laughs> monster truck. And he's showing you right here what the truck is capable of. Going into a perfect sky wheelie, clocking the rear steer a little bit, dragging it a little extra, kissing Avenger there. Outstanding first hit from Bryant. Absolutely. You know, if he can do something really spectacular for his second hit, there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to be able to take that lead. Let's see what Prowler's got on his last hit off the yellow lane. Wait, Taking third no place from El Toro Loco. Nice, popping oh. it up, dragging it on the rear end. Hang on, bumps oh. into Wolverine. A little out of control there. The judges might kind of score him down on that, but nonetheless, an outstanding performance. Uh, an eight comes through. Another eight comes through. Another eight comes through. Um, yeah, it's an eight for me. And another eight, meaning a 32. And all right, here we go. We got TJ coming out here in Bigfoot. Know anything else about this guy, Tyler? You know, I've competed against TJ when the V4 Revival Tour started <laughs> up. And hang on. Oh, and this wow. is what he does. He knows his truck. He turns the wheels, carries it extra long. You know, TJ in Bigfoot, he is out absolutely mind-blowing with what he can do. I mean, like I said, I competed him uh, against him before. He is a tough competitor. He does not like to lose. Oh, and he's no. shown you right there why he is in a battle between him and Metal Militia for points in this tour. <laughs> Look at him walk it up and down. Yeah, and he makes TJ. it over. Wow. That he's the is first guy to qualify for world hit. finals. And he's shown why. No doubt. Judges coming through. A 10 comes through. A 10. A 10. 9. And a 9. A score of a 39 for Bigfoot. <laughs> one point remains on the board. Sean Ryan, a veteran, coming out in one of the baddest trucks out there. That's Metal Militia. A former world champion truck. Look at him edging Bigfoot on. <laughs> TJ, back up because Sean Ryan is coming for you here as he starts his run, Trenton. Absolutely. You know, there's a lot at stake here. He's got one point in order to be able to beat Bigfoot. Oh, wow. And oh, he's wow. And his best here. Oh, oh one wheel. wheel. Wow. Putting the equipment to the test. Look at the momentum by Sean. Absolutely. He's trying to get it done and over with so he can try to take that lead. Lines up for his next hit here. Oh, wow. Hanging on, oh, and slides on the way into Prowler there. But nonetheless, a nice hit right there for Metal Militia. A score of a nine's coming in. An eight. Another eight. We're waiting on one more. And another eight. A score. <coughs> oh, my God. A score of a 33 for Metal Militia. So it looks like we have a winner. Our winner of the Willie competition is none other than TJ in Bigfoot. Big round of applause and congratulations to him. What a run he had. Next competition's racing. And here we go with the next, the first race of round one, Tyler. We got Bigfoot with TJ behind the wheel alongside facing Mr. Canyon and the Stone Crusher. This is going to be a really close race here. They're both really talented drivers. I'm excited to call this one. Absolutely. Wait on the drivers ready so that we can get this race started. Bigfoot is ready. Looks like Blue Thunder is ready as well. Go. Looks like we have electronic uh, electrical issues with Stone Crusher not being able to get that truck fired. Blue, uh, excuse me, Bigfoot's going to patter around in there. They're not going to uh, count any penalties. He's not going up the ramp just because, you know, you can't. He's in the way there. But Bigfoot taking a little bit of a hot lap. Tough break for the Stone Crusher camp. Absolutely. You know, with monster trucks, they are imperfect. So problems happen all the time. The next race out here, Trenton, we have 
Mr. Avenger dropped silver, taken on Chase in the Wolverine. Both competitors came out and did really nice willies. This is going to be a tight race. I'm excited. Absolutely. Two of the best competitors tonight in here in racing. We're just waiting for the drivers to get ready so we can get this race right underway. They got a ready, ready from the Avenger. And we got a ready from the Wolverine. Oh. And there we oh. go. We have a Wolverine with a slight advantage of the whole shot coming into the first turn. Of course, they're racing in Chicago style here in Hotlanta. But oh. Avenger oh. clips the turning car. Oh, hanging the Wolverine. On. Almost goes off. What oh, a weird on, race. Almost even. In the final turn, oh. Wolverine, <laughs> Chase oh, the one Wolverine tire. is going to get a one-tire penalty. Ouch. That's going to be like Avenger. Wolverine? That sucks. And it's going to be, be uh, excuse me, Avenger because of the one-tire penalty from Wolverine. <laughs> Tough break for Chase. Absolutely. <laughs> and here we go with the next race of round one. We got Tyler Ryan in the Western Renegade against Sean Ryan in the Metal Militia. We are just a few seconds away from them to start the race, just waiting on the drivers to give that thumbs up. All right, both drivers are ready, waiting for the green. Go! And the drivers are off here for the race. Dead even, it almost looked like. Tight one. Tyler kind of clipping those cars, but able to keep it together. Going a little wide. Sean going really tight. Metal Militia. Metal Militia taking it to the next round. All right, the next race out, we have Mr. Trenton Ray, T-Ray in the Maximum Destruction, taking on Bryant in the beautiful Prowler machine. Looks like both drivers are ready, and we are going to be going on the green. Go. Oh. Dead even. Dead even off the start, coming into the first turn here in Hotlanta. Oh. Prowler, nice turn right there. Prowler's got the lead. A little bit of a lead, an awkward bounce for Maximum Destruction, but he's staying in there. Bryant. Oh, oh hang on. Up. Oh, oh, Prowler barely. It's going to be Prowler with the win, but takes a nasty spill, and I don't know if he'll be able to make it back, but as of right now, Prowler is advancing into the next round. All right, the next race out here, Trent, we have Marcelo in the beautiful Bigfoot snake bite, taking on Tim, the tool man Taylor, in the El Toro Loco. This is going to be one to watch. Absolutely. You know, I've known these two for quite a while now, and I know they both bring their A game. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Looks like both drivers are ready, waiting on the green. Oh. A slight advantage to Tim there. Coming to the first turn here, Trenton. Absolutely. It's going to be a tight one. Both trying to take a tight Oh, hang Marcello. on. Marcelo and Snakebite up on two wheels, but continues on. Didn't get a penalty there. But Tim graciously goes through the last turn of Chicago style here. Takes the win. Oh, oh hang no. on. Snakebite up and over. Oh, dear God. That is a vicious hit for Marcelo. Wow. Next up, Tyler, we got Drop Silver Zero, Mr. Zach Romig himself against TJ in the Bigfoot. TJ getting high off of his win in wheelies. That's right. These guys are going to lay it all on the track. Let's see if they're ready. It looks like the drivers are ready. They're going to be waiting on the green. Go. And there they go, dead even off the line there. Slight lead to Bigfoot coming out of the first turn. Beautiful turn from Bigfoot. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Wow. Of course, of course, you know, Bigfoot there taking it uh, slowly around Avenger. Of course, Avenger was shut off with the remote ignition interrupter. That's the RII. Uh, that is a safety feature that all the monsters have, just in case something like that happens where the, the tech officials can shut him off all the power to the trucks, keep it super safe. It's looking like Zach's all right. We're getting a thumbs up from Tim down there on the track. It looks like he's all right. Avenger, though, the truck itself, that's going to be another one uh, to see if they can. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's we're back here for some more racing here in round two, but we saw some tr trouble there before the credits of last time. 
we got down there on the floor and had an interview with Zach. So right now I'm down there with Tyler. Tyler? Yeah, I'm standing next to Zach. You know, you're driving the Avenger. Zach, what happened on that last turn? I saw that you're, you're taking that first turn there. I saw you take a nasty spill. Is the truck okay? You're going to be able to make it back? Well, basically what had happened was we took that corner a little too sharp. We clipped the front end of the of the uh, very last turning car, and unfortunately that lifted our truck up a little, causing our back ends to hit that racing lane, causing us to nose over and unfortunately roll the truck. Uh, luckily, though, we are a part of Team Scream, and thankfully we do have the equipment and the help from and the support from all the other drivers uh, down here for the V4 Revival Tour. Uh, thankfully, we have a nice, strong, loving, and uh, caring family. We might be rivals on the track, but we are definitely great friends and brothers outside of the track, and we will be back for freestyle tonight. I know the fans are looking forward to it. Good luck. Trenton, thank back you. to you. All right. Well, thank you, Tyler. As we heard that, he sounds like he will be back. And with Tyler back here in the booth, hello. We got the next round of racing. I'm pretty sure that the drivers are ready to tear it down. Oh, absolutely. Sean Ryan in the Metal Militia is absolutely bad fast, but Bryant in the Prowler is not one to lose easily. This is going to be a close one. Both drivers looking ready. Wait on the green. Go! And it's Daddy. going to be a close one here, Tyler. As you see, both the drivers giving it all <laughs> they got. Look at that turn! An outstanding turn by Prowler, taking the lead there, but not by much. This is all it is leads all to the final turn. Flower. Wow. Wow. And oh, no, no, another truck. This is not going very well. <laughs> Let's just put this in perspective here. About 80% of the field is now in the pits working to try to get these trucks uh, back uh, together for freestyle. Sean taking a nasty spill, but let's not take anything away from a, a uh, really close, almost. As you see, the drivers are lining up and getting ready to tear it down here in racing yet again. We got Mr. Tim, the Toolman Taylor, in the El Toro Loco, along with TJ in the Bigfoot. As we said earlier, TJ is going into a high from his win in wheelies, Tyler. Yeah, you know, Bigfoot it wants this race. TJ's been zoned in. He's been strapped into the truck this entire time, hasn't talked to anybody. He is in the... It's not... Uh, here, but Tim El, in the El Toro Loco, the crowd is behind Tim. They love that truck. They love the way he drives. This is going to be a very close race, and I'm excited to call it. Drivers are looking ready, waiting on the green. Go. And right off go. the bat, there, it looks like it's almost even, a, maybe a slight advantage to Tim in the El Toro Loco, but a perfect turn by Bigfoot here. Oh, dead even going to the final turn here in Atlanta. And that was a photo finish with El Toro Loco. We're going to the screenshot Ellie. right now. Like that was an intense race. Wow, the first screenshot coming in right now. It, wow, what a finish there. Tim is almost vertical, head first. TJ taking a little bit of a spin there too. Waiting on uh, the second one here. It's going to be El Toro Loco. Tim, the tool man, Taylor, takes the win, but not by much. Wow, what a race, Trenton. This truck... Tim, what happened on that final pass? Uh, you know, we were just trying, I mean, we know that the fans are really behind me, and I know that TJ wants to get the points win, but we're still trying to give it all we got in the last two events, you know. Obviously, it's been an intense competition all night, and we were just, we just really wanted to get a win against Bigfoot, because this whole season he's been kicking my butt, and I, I can't go off on a bad note here in Atlanta, and I want to get the win, and we got it. Uh, we rolled the truck pretty hard, but it sounds like we're going to be able to come back for racing, so who knows. All right, good luck. Now, as we wait for those drivers to line up, let's not forget that tonight is a special night because as we, as you guys, some of you may have known, we had a day one before. So they were going off of what happened yesterday. So it could explain why some of these trucks are a little worse for wear than what they are right now, Tyler. Yeah, absolutely. You know, especially when a lot of these monster truck teams, they have uh, multiple show weekends. It is hard to keep the truck upkeep. Usually you see the best of the equipment uh, earlier on in the weekend. But nonetheless, these guys have been thrashing on these trucks all night long. These trucks are 100%. 
well, most of them anyway. A lot of them taking a bad turn in racing. But nonetheless, Bryant is ready in the beautiful Prowler. He's been bad fast all night. He's had some of the cleanest turns we've seen. But Tim is the wild card here. And uh, Tim the Toolman, Taylor and El Toro Loco, he's not going to lose easily. This is going to be a fun one. Absolutely. Drivers are looking ready, waiting on that green light. Go. Dead even off of the start into the first turn. Oh, it's... hang on! A slight advantage to Bryant here. Getting really close here into the final. Tim messes up. It's gonna. Oh, be El Toro Loco! That is gonna be a rough one. He is shut off there. Prowler takes the win. El Toro Loco. Tim is upside down. We got officials going out there right now. You see uh, Prowlers being shut off by the RII because of that rollover there. Wow, what a gnarly hit. We have the, the best of the best here. The safety team is out there to Tim's aid. It looks like he's going to be all right. We're getting a go. thumbs up from Tim. He is going to be okay. That truck, though, I don't know if that truck's going to be able to make it for freestyle. I don't know. It was a tough rollover, but maybe we'll find out later on. Stone Crusher's first up. Yeah, but before right. he goes. First up is out on the field. It's going to be Stone Crusher. We've seen this kid tonight, and I have to say that I am impressed. Oh, absolutely. Stone Crusher, unfortunately, having those mechanical issues earlier in the night for racing. He had a very good, strong willy pass. He's got everything he needs to do now. They figured out what it was. Uh, he just had a distributor cap problem. They had that fixed. Uh, and they are ready for freestyle here, Trenton. Absolutely. You know, the time will start on his first hit. So, Who's standing like in the middle of the track? No one. All right, never mind. Stone Crusher coming out. Two minutes on the clock, of course. Time starts when he hits his first obstacle. Absolutely. As you know, the truck still doesn't sound like it's completely healthy, so maybe they weren't able to get it all fixed. <laughs> wow! Damn. But he, that, that, that's not going to stop him at all. He's just going big. A beautiful start for Stone Crusher. He's upset. He didn't get a chance to do what he wanted to do in racing, and he's proving oh, that wow. this truck is capable. Oh, oh. Ouch. He's good. The car is bouncing him backwards like a bunny. <laughs> Having actually really Stone. good momentum for what it is. Stone right. Crusher coming out, going for the double bus here. <sighs> Up and over, lands a little sideways there, but keeps it on all fours as he turns around, keeping this run on, uh, on go here. He's doing a fantastic job. 45 seconds in. Oh, that was cool. Keeping up that momentum and trying to wow the crowd as much as he possibly can. Just on kill tonight. You know, a lot of people... <gasps> oh, wow! Stone Crusher with massive air. You know, a lot of a lot of drivers, a lot of people think, uh, you know, going out first is, is a disadvantage because you don't get to uh, watch at what everybody else does. But it's uh, to me, I think it's an advantage because you have fresh cars, you have fresh obstacles, you have the paint on the dirt so you know where they are. But look, Stone Crusher, Luke, he's up on his lid. Will he be able to turn it around? No way. Oh, what did he save? Save? Wow. What a save. Stone Crusher is an absolute madman. That is going to be going for save of the year, I guarantee you. Going for that double again, <laughs> clearing it. 15 seconds left. Sam Judge is also. He has been going absolutely crazy this entire time. His momentum has been fantastic. Oh. He's airing it out again. Oh. He's going to be shut off by that the RII. Right there anyways. As time expires, give it up for Stone Crusher. Scores coming in an 8. A 7. And a 7. And another 7. A score of a 29 for Stone Crusher. Outstanding performance. Um, so Tim. All right. Well, next up here in freestyle, we got Mr. Mar Marcelo Mendoza himself in the snake bite coming out here. Oh wow! Right off the oh, bat, a huge air as time starts for snake bite. That was huge. 
Of course, you know, Trenton, earlier in the night, we saw him break that rear steering issue. He had a rear steering uh, ram that went out, and he's got it fixed, and he's letting this thing fly as he is oh. off to a killer start to his freestyle. Absolutely. And, you know, like I told you earlier, I've known this guy for quite a while. He knows to how to throw it down in freestyle. This guy is crazy. He's won freestyles before. He's, I believe, won a championship at once or twice. Ooh, a very veteran trying. driver. Snakebite is getting the crowd going as he hits the bus again. <laughs> that is such a huge hit. The biggest there, I think, off of the off of that jump alone tonight. He's got to be careful. I know he changed that steering ram, but that was a pretty violent hit on the rear steer. But as he kicks it into a beautiful cyclone here, Snakebite is getting them on their left. feet. On kill tonight with the snake oh. bites and huge air cross thread. Marcelo is such a beautiful driver. He knows what he needs to do. He knows what his equipment can handle, as you can see right there. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. hang on, snake bite. Oh, oh. Right really? off with the RII. Tough break, but he tried. Nonetheless, an outstanding performance from Snakebite. Uh, scores are coming in right now. A seven from the first judge. Six. A seven. And, and another six. It's going to be a 26 for Snakebite. All right. Continuing on with freestyle, I got Mr. Zach himself here with me in the booth as Trenton takes on freestyle here in Atlanta in the beautiful Max D. Of course, he had a planetary issue in that in the racing run. He broke it. They were in the back of the pits and the hot pits thrashing it. All the teams got together and worked on Max D, and they got this truck ready. T-Ray here, Zach, is ready to throw it down. You know, honestly, I'm very excited to see what Trent could do. I've been talking to Trent earlier, and he said that he is very excited to come out here, lay it down on the line for these Atlanta fans, for these Revival Tour fans. Every single one of these fans, they it's just going to be insane. Those were his exact words, stutter and all. Trent is ready to throw down, and I am excited oh. to see it as he gets some massive air. That's right. You know, T-Ray, a veteran when it comes to the v tour, uh, V4 tour, V Revival Tour and just driving in general. You know, he has a different little bit uh, oh. uh, set up here. A nice slap really. You do not see that again a lot out of this style of truck. What I was about to say is he's got the front engine uh, coil over set up the Wilman chassis, and he it allows him to get a little different moves. Oh, no. oh hang on, oh, no. he rolls it up nice. and over, but he saves it. Okay, Bring it this is what I was talking about right expert. here. That's right, Zach. This is what I'm talking about with that Wilman style chassis, the coil over setup. He doesn't run any sway bars. The front engine gets the, this truck gets off kilter easy, but it, he's still in control, and that's the cool part about Max D. <laughs> Massive air. Easy. Yes, the, as I personally like to call it, controlled chaos. Uh, Trent is a very experienced driver, as you called him a veteran, and I could see why, and I'm pretty sure everybody who's watching this can also see Trent. He oh, absolutely no. knows what he's doing. He has won multiple Pop world tire. championships, and he's not afraid to show why, and he's going to lay it all tire. down on this track here tonight. With That's 50 right, seconds freestyle. Left. Underway, he's got under a minute here. T Ray is throwing down. Let's see what he got. Oh, that was an interesting move there. Hang oh, on, up can he save it with the pop tire? No, oh, all right. Oh, I... and he is done. Max D is on his lid. Outstanding performance. First score coming in is an eight. Gonna be a seven, seven from the second judge. Another eight, another seven, and another eight. A score of a 30 takes the lead. Max D, nicely done. All right, well, after that amazing run from Max D, we're going to keep that amazing feeling up with Mr. Tyler Rias coming out here in Western Renegade. He is a wild man, to I'll say the, the least. Crowd. Zach, as you're still up here in the booth alongside me, man, you just got to tell me, what do you feel in terms of Tyler as a driver and everything else, man? Tyler as a driver, I mean, this is my first time really seeing him live, but I have seen him on multiple videos. I've seen him run before, and it's just absolutely insane what this man could pull off. The moves, and oh, he's challenging Bigfoot there. Oh, man, he's going to try and take it all tonight. A lot. Yeah, but a rather unexpected challenge, considering that it's so late in the season. I mean, I don't know if he could catch up with points. However, he's going to start this run off with some nice solid air. He still ha 
as the time starts, you know, it's this plan of what can he do with his full two minutes still to go. Oh, wow. Oh, here he goes. Here we go. Nice cross thread Nicely over the Nicely done. Stack. <laughs> you have those cross threads going to the other one. Huge air. May I note that the last time we saw Tyler compete in this series, he won freestyle. So he, I mean, he's definitely got another chance at it for sure. Absolutely. He definitely like does. Earlier, a wild man when it comes to freestyle. The louder <laughs> the fans get, the the louder and crazier he gets. Basically, there he oh, goes. Man, see? With a minute well, seven left. The crowd. Her feet with some huge air. Nicely done. Trent, you've known Tyler for a very long time. Can you just tell me, like, from from your personal experience, whether it's from you competing in the same event oh, or whatever? No. Oh, 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 my gosh. I'm, I'm sorry that I got a cut off right there. Dead. That was absolutely a dead. hard hit. Dead. The RII, thankfully, the officials turning the RII, the remote ignition interrupter, Tyler getting out of the truck and absolutely just very happy look at him he's very excited he's excited man wow give me an interview give me an interview we're gonna go down there on the pits i got zach down there zach I, i'm with tyler tyler you just threw down and absolutely had some of the craziest air that we've ever seen in this tour uh, could you explain to me what had happened out there? You know what, man? We came out for wheelies. We tossed it over. We didn't want to do that. Came out and racing. We blew a rear steering pump as well. We got it fixed. I, w I don't care about the points. I know I know what the fans came to see. They came to absolutely see me burn it to the ground, and that's what I did here in Atlanta. I thank every one of you. This tour is the baddest out there, and you will be back next week. Very crazy words from Tyler. We're sending it back up to you, Trent. Back to you. So far, we have two sevens from the judges. Eight. We got, two, we got a two sevens from the judges. We got an eighth, and then I'm going to go ahead and give that a nine with the absolutely crazy run. So two sevens, an eight, and a nine. going to add that up. That's a 31. Takes the lead. Damn. Takes the lead by one. <laughs> And out here comes the wild man himself, Zach Romig, a part of the Team Scream team. And I got Tyler back with me. Tyler, I got to say, man, that run was wild, but we're about to see Zach here throw it down. You know, man, I did exactly what the fans wanted. The, the fans want to see crazy stuff. I try to hit stuff sideways, a little cross red. Uh, you know, and I'm, I'm excited to see what Avenger does because I know how oh, big he can go. Just like this. Wow. Oh, Forrest was able to was able to keep it under control. That was a close one here. Look at him going thrust, cross red, and tops it over. Oh. Avengers up and over early. Oh, Give me the interview, boys. I want the interview. <laughs> I'm down there on the track right now. Wow. Dude, you came out, man. You, you gave us a nasty hit. Some of the biggest air of the night. What's going through your mind right now? You know, just to quote Tyler from earlier, I do not care about these points. I want the fans in High Atlanta to get up on their feet and make some noise. Absolutely, the goal was to go out here and throw it all. I don't care if I lasted for five seconds, ten seconds, a minute, two minutes. I wanted to go out there and lay it all on the line. And that's exactly what I did for you fans here in High Atlanta. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. All right, I get, uh, we have a four right now. From a, a, four, three. a four, a three, another four, and a five. And a, five. a score of a 16 for Avenger. Next up is Wolverine. Well, Tyler, after that amazing run, we're going to keep the craziness going tonight. We got Wolverine. We're told this guy's a madman. That's right, Wolverine. Chase came out. He hurt the truck earlier, but he's ready. A lot of these guys have been dealing with uh, mechanical issues, but this truck's 100%. Chase is going to absolutely burn it to the ground. Absolutely. Some of these drivers are taking a deal with the devil to make sure that they can do a decent freestyle run tonight. Ooh, different start. Coming over the jammer here. <laughs> Perfect. Takes it up and does a wheelie. This Ooh. is what this truck is known for. A little bit of a pocket here. Save it. Oh! <laughs> 
Keeping it on all fours, almost getting up and over reverse move. Dan Evans. Wow. <laughs> wow. Destroying that transmission e engine, but who cares? This it's truck the final is. Night. This truck is crying right now, but he is going all out here. <laughs> oh no! Getting all oh, Kenny, getting it back under control before. <laughs> I, I thought it was going over too there, Trent, but he pulls it back around. Wolverine is at a killer start. Oh, oh Kenny, save it! No. Wait! <gasps> no Can way! Save it? <laughs> okay. What was that? <laughs> nice save from Chase. This is a bonkers run. Absolutely. You know, like I said, they told us he was a wild man, and he's proving it right here. These fans are going crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, a hard hit on the cradle there. The truck cannot take another hard hit like that. But, wow, he is on a mission. Absolutely, you know. Oh, no. As we, as we know, he had a little bit of a rough night. So this is going to be all down to this. Swinging it into some cyclones. Wow. <laughs> With 32 seconds left. You see there in the stands, the fans got their hands in the air. They're wanting him to go big or go home, and that's exactly what he's doing. Wolverine here putting in a full run, getting all the fans on their feet. He does some cross thread. Chase is on a run right now. 12 seconds left. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 shut done. off. Wow, Wolverine absolutely going bonkers in Hotlanta. That's an eight. Another eight. Another eight. An eight. Four eights with a score of a 32. 32. Your new leader is <coughs> All right. Well, continuing the crazy night of racing in freestyle, Tyler. It's been an all-out crazy night so far. And here comes Tim Toomey and Taylor coming back out spraying that smoke you know he said earlier that he had a broken wheel from that crash in racing yeah a lot of these drivers are experiencing uh breakage on their trucks but they are getting it all put back together and they're doing a fantastic job as tim the tool man taylor coming out giving a little nudge to prowler there let's see what he can do here in freestyle absolutely you know tim's Looking the gun for that lead, a score of a 32 is the point to beat. But the question is, can he do it? Yeah, you know, you never know, especially with a lot of these tracks that the, the tour hits. The, every track is different. They, the jumps act differently, uh, you know, and, and the space is different. And Tim, it, it, he knows what this track is. He knows how to do it. So this should be a nice freestyle as he's already starting with some really technical moves here. Absolutely. Getting a little bit of a pock in there on the bus stack. That seems to be a very popular spot for that. Get a nice sky wheelie, crawling it down, <laughs> holding it. Oh! Oh, a hard hit right there. That's going to break the front steering. The front steering is broken into that left turning position. That's going to hurt him a little bit right there. But let's see if he can get it turned around. Tim's on a mission right now, going in reverse. A nice reversal. Oh, and he's on his lid. A bad bounce from Tim the Toolman Taylor. But listen to this place. Absolutely. They are going crazy. You know, these drivers are giving it their all tonight. A seven comes through. A seven. That's a five. A five. And a six. A score of a 25 for El Toro Loco. All right. Well, moving on to the next truck here, Tyler. You want to introduce that guy? Yes, this next guy, man. Bryant, <laughs> look at him coming out, wasting no time, getting his start. Bryant is your racing winner from earlier in the evening. He is already on a high from that, so it doesn't matter how freestyle goes for him. But you know what? He is trying to get that double down to freestyle and racing championship. So let's see what he can do here as he's already starting with some massive moves. Absolutely. You know, that boy can be the one of the few that can do, go for a double down. So, as you see here, he is absolutely giving it his all for that double down. 
Absolutely Bryant. He knows what his truck can handle. Like I was saying earlier, he's a technical driver. He knows how to hit these ramps. And look at this jammer gonna bite him a little bit, but he he, he gets it back on all fours. Wow. What a run by Prowler into a massive sky willy. Bryant is on one. ten left. Keeping the momentum up, getting some nice air, landing in the sand. He's coming for Wolverine's score of a 32. Of course, that is the score to beat here in Atlanta. Keeping that momentum up. As you know, the sand in the middle there, that is built for donuts because some of the dirt is actually too tacky to do donuts. Yeah, oh, that's wow. probably a lot of reasons we were seeing people flip over earlier hey. throughout the night. Prowler oh. stretching the rear end there. No, wow. He looks like the truck's all right, but dang, that was a wild move from Prowler. 30 seconds left. Oh! oh. Can he save it? <laughs> Slams it into reverse. That is a technical move right there. We've been saying it all night, and I'll say it again. Bryant is some of the best in the business at keeping that truck on all fours. Oh, hang on! 15 left. Cross oh. red moves from Prowler. More huge air. Wow, this is Seven, a run. Six, five. Massive move. This is going to be the last move that right is time. here. Oh, oh, shut him off. RII right onto the cage as time expires. Bryant in Prowler. Wow. That's an eight. An eight. A nine. A nine. And a nine coming through. A score of a 35 takes the lead. Bryant in Prowler. Two trucks left here, Trenton. What a wild night. Wait, Bigfoot's oh, coming out. Oh, God. It looks like <laughs> oh, oh. he's not waiting for Prowler. Oh! <laughs> All right, well, getting into the next run here, we got the person who took wheelies with a tremendous run. You know, TJ, I've been saying it all night. I'll say it again. He knows what this truck is worth. He knows how to drive it. I've competed him uh, against him a few times. He is an outstanding performer. Oh, no. And, oh, no. Oh, no. This is not going to help him here. He is stuck on the jammer, but is he going to get it off? Pause time. Time is paused. Let's see if he can He can get it off. Come on. That's going to be all right. We don't know if it's Bigfoot's going to be able to do break. For TJ, that is not the way he wanted to go out. Scores coming in a, a, a score of a two. Three. And another two. Tough break. Only a score of a nine for Bigfoot. Not going to get what he wanted. The crew's out there going to try to get him off of the jammer. Wow. He's in the lead right now. The second closest, Wolverine with a 32, Western Renegade with a 31, and Maxi with a 30. They're all super close. But there's five points on the board left for Metal Militia Sean to Ryan to win here in Atlanta. To, uh, Trenton, I, I, I'm excited here. Sean a, is, a, is a pretty good racer. He's a good freestyler. I'm excited. What are you most excited for Metal Militia? I'm excited to see him absolutely tear it down. He's the last truck to impress the fans. And points leader, the too. What? He's in the points lead. Oh. He is in the points as well, and he's already starting his runoff here. Of course, this truck made famous by Brian Deegan, driving out of the Mental Militia camp, then gone to Todd LaDuke and winning a few championships along the way. But Sean is filling in some big boots, and he does it well here in Atlanta. And you, this is going to be a wild freestyle as he gets caught up on the car stack there. Nonetheless, Mental Militia is on a mission right now. Absolutely. Some huge air. That is some of the biggest air of the night. Metal Militia is not going to lose easy. He's going for the lead of Prowler. But, oh, oh. hang on. A hard landing. That is going to be a shut off RII. Metal Militia is not going to fill time. Scores are coming in right now. A score of a four. They can max D come back up. A four. Yeah. Another four. And a four. A score of only a 16. That means your winner here in Atlanta is none other than Bryant and Prowler taking the racing win, taking the freestyle win, and he is your event champion. Give it up for Prowler. Absolutely amazing. You know, Bryant brought his A game tonight, taking both racing and freestyle. The underdog in racing, my ad. Wow, the freestyle order, of course. Prowler with the number one spot. And then we get on to, uh, excuse me, and then Wolverine with number two. And then we get Western Renegade with number three. 
the seed for oh not bad stone crusher with a 29 and then so forth down the line what an outstanding performance from all these drivers this was a fun one to announce absolutely one of the best events i've been a part of so far i'm surprised how i even got that saved during freestyle which one